homelessness takes a toll on communities that sometimes we don't even keep track of. When you look at the unbelievable cost that the public bears as people stay in shelters for years, cycle in and out of emergency rooms, jails occasionally, supportive housing, which Common Ground brings to communities for $30 or so a night, can end homelessness and help people get back on their feet, become tax-paying citizens, contributors to the community. Techniques that Common Ground uses to identify the very high-cost users, the very long-term homeless living on the streets, these are ideas that are now being picked up by cities around the country and around the world. We've been working in Newburgh, New York. We've been working in Tokyo. It's the same issue, the same intervention, the same type of strategy that works in every community. A perfect example of that was our very first project, the Times Square Hotel, and taking a building with 1,700 building code violations that was known in the press as homeless hell, a miserable place for both residents and neighbors, and turning that building around, making it an anchor for the revitalization of that part of 8th Avenue, a contributor to the revitalization of Times Square. Common Ground success has come from being very attuned to the needs of the people that they're working with. You wouldn't normally think that a bunch of real estate owners and real estate interests would automatically find common cause with a homeless service organization, but Common Ground was able to approach the problem in a way that understood the long-term interests and needs of the neighborhood and was able to point out to people how addressing this problem in a compassionate and thoughtful way would be effective in the long term for the neighborhood and for the business interests in the area. That kind of dignity, that kind of respect, that kind of elegance being returned to uh, a community is what you can have with great supportive housing and whether it's the Times Square or the Prince or any of number of the uh, common ground projects. A community has to rise to the level of a common ground design facility, not the other way around. I think we've lost sight of the fact that homelessness is a public health crisis. Just last year, New York City uh, published a study that showed homeless adults have a life expectancy that's 25 years less than non-homeless adults in the city. We have clients who've been outside homeless for 10, 20, 30 years. They're staying in a hospital three, four, five nights every single month, we can house them for that same amount of money for an entire year. It's very frustrating because I mean, I think that's why you go to medical school and you become a physician is because you want to help people and you don't want to help people on a one-time basis. You want to have a plan for someone where they can be helped on a consistent basis outside the hospital. A certain number of people cycle in and out of the emergency departments and if they're placed in stable permanent housing like that offered by Common Ground, along with the services um, that supportive housing provides, like medical services, mental health services, if they want substance use services, um, a community. I think those are really things that people need to stay out of emergency departments. Street to Home is the classic example of how we have figured this out. Now 132 people who had been on the street on average seven years are now in their own homes as a result of this effort. Those that are the hardest to house are the ones that are not just using the emergency services, but the courts, the police stations, other social service providers whose time really could be freed up to a wider audience. Our outreach team goes out to keep them engaged and really brings the services to them on the street. Uh, what Street to Home does is they uh, reach out to the person that's on the street, the person that's homeless, uh, and they get them to come to workshops. So a lot of times you get a chance to talk about what's going on with you and what you have to do. And, and I think that's great. I think that's a big difference, the fact that they reach out to people that, that really need it. I go back now, um, sort of as an alumni. And I, still, I see a lot of people that I was out there in the street with. And so it makes a difference in terms that people are motivated by what they see. But you know, once you see somebody who was out there with you, you know, hey, this ain't no joke, you know. I, I know this guy. Me and this guy drank wine together on the train, you know. Me and this guy panhandled up and down Broadway, and I saw what he looked like, and I see the difference now, and I want what he's got. The Street to Home initiative under the leadership of Common Ground has really been incredibly important to us. It, it really shows the priority of being able to move chronically homeless individuals directly into supportive housing and Common Ground has been the first in the city to take that kind of leadership and initiative. Our mission is being delivered now. We're in the midst of an ambitious housing development program. We're just starting construction on the Lee, on the Lower East Side, and we're well underway with our first new construction program, Skirmerhorn House in downtown Brooklyn. We'll be under construction for a little bit over a year here and then we'll have about 100,000 square feet here of supportive housing, 
all efficiency apartments, uh, a multi-purpose theater, a green roof in the back for the tenants to hang out on, bicycle storage, and our supportive offices with uh, the, the staff that helps the tenants to, to live and prosper in this neighborhood. We're very happy that Skimmerhorn House is coming and we're very happy that it's a joint project of the Actors Fund and Common Ground because we have a lot of confidence in Common Ground as a developer of this type of housing and uh, many of the members of our community are looking forward to moving to Skimmerhorn House. I think a big part of Common Ground's success is the fact that we've been able to enlist so many extraordinary partners from Bank of America to city agencies to private landlords to business improvement districts to our residential neighbors. We know that people in this city, we know that people in every community would like to see a community without homelessness. Common Ground has recognized that their goal is not just to fix a minor problem, it's to end homelessness as we know it. And so as the problem changes, their approach changes. And that's been a key to their success in the neighborhood and why they're gonna succeed in the long run. Ultimately, this is about ending homelessness for individual people who are suffering. Individuals who now, because of our work, are living in their own homes, safe, healthier, able to contribute to the community. I can't tell you how excited I was. I didn't have words to say, wow, I'm out of the shelter, I'm into my own new apartment. Once I was called for the key, I was the happiest girl in the city.